Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Gana Montoya, and I'm back at it again with another video. And of course, today's video is going to be a vlog. So this week, I have a lot of things planned because your girl birthday is coming up, January 23rd, Aquarius gang. And y'all, I can't believe I'm getting ready to turn 27. <laughs> I keep trying not to think about it in a negative way, but I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm three years away from 30, but I'm not going to think about it that way. I'm just happy to be getting another year older, growing, becoming wiser, becoming the adult that I want to be. I would say young lady that I want to be. I, I guess I'm still a young lady. I don't know. Anyway, we're not going to focus on age, but yes, um, right now we actually are still currently in Orlando. I ended one vlog to begin another, so hence, that's why I got the same get up on. I'm currently waiting outside of Bed Bath & Beyond for my mother to come out because uh, she just wanted to stop by here before we got on the road. I'm making her take me to Chick-fil-A because I want to get some Chick-fil-A breakfast. Um, there is an Ulta over here that I wanted to stop by, but it does not open until 10 o'clock. Right now, it's 9.36. I feel like by the time my mom get up out of here, it will be 10 o'clock. But honestly, like I'm not too pressed to go to Ulta because like I tell my mom, I'm just ready to get back home. Like I'm, I'm not tired, but it's just that Oh, they also have a Sephora over here as well. See, that's one thing I love about like up north. Like they just have standalone buildings for a lot of places. Like you don't actually have to go to a mall. Like I love that. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, Yeah, I was telling my mom like, I just want to get back home. Like I'm not tired, but I'm just more so like just wanting to be in my own bed, in my own room, ready to unpack, ready to put all this stuff up. And just ready to kind of like clear my mind before I get back into work mode tomorrow. Me being me, I did look at my work emails and like my missed calls and my text messages. And it, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. So um, it's not like the office burnt down or anything while I was gone. But um, not like we've been at the office anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just kind of ready to get back home. So I just want to get some breakfast, get on the road because... I don't want to be sitting in traffic. Like, I really don't want to be sitting in traffic. But, yeah. Just wanted to come check in with y'all really quickly to give y'all the rundown of what was going on. Which is really nothing at this point. I'm just waiting for Miss Cobb to get out of this bed. We have to be on. She over here trying to order a luggage. Girl, we barely got room in this car. Like, for you to be trying to see if they have luggage in there. Thank God they don't. Because... We don't have room in this car. So now she's trying to order it. Doing the most. But I'm going to check back in with you guys once I get home, hopefully. Or if I don't check back in with y'all later today, I will see y'all tomorrow. It's been like a couple of days. I don't even know when the last time it was that I spoke to y'all, but I'm just feeling slightly unorganized and I don't know why. Like, I'm trying to ask myself, like, why do I feel this way? I was writing in my journal. I was writing like my intentions and my reflections for the day. And I just put that I was feeling anxious. And I think it's because low-key I'm like doing stuff at the last minute so honestly it stems from yesterday's work day um I just wanted to like start fresh like when I came back for vacation I kind of just wanted to like set myself up 
to prepare to like be back on like my eating healthy and like you know my weight loss journey and just really following the Weight Watchers app so yesterday like I went to the gym in the morning um came back and I just immediately started working because of course Monday was a holiday then I had to like you know just check emails check my phone whatever the case may be and the day was just like so dragged out and then on top of that like I had school so it really didn't give me enough time to like go run my errands and honestly, I probably could have just used Instacart, but I like grocery shopping on my own, like picking out my own fruits, picking out my own vegetables and stuff like that. And so it just really annoyed me that I did not get the opportunity to like go grocery shopping and like pick up all the, you know, supplies and things that I needed to like start fresh. So I don't know, that energy is kind of like carrying into this day, which is weird because I was able to go grocery shopping this morning. I was able to pick up everything that I needed to pick up. Um, I need to go to the tailors to pick up my birthday dress. But thankfully, 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 the, um, the young lady that my friend Sabrina recommended said that she could do my cake. Of course, it'll be an extra fee like for the rush job. Y'all, I'm just last minute with everything. And then remember I told y'all I had the complication with the whole shoes. So I ordered the, the strap extender. Thankfully, that comes in the mail today. Hopefully, it works. And I don't have to worry about buying another pair of shoes. I need to go out and, like, miss all of my shopping that I did on Orlando. Like, I did not think about looking for, like, a little clutch or anything to wear on my dress. So now I have to go find like a little cute little clutch and stuff to like wear my dress. Like I just feel so backwards, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, I shouldn't feel this way because everything is like getting resolved. And so, yeah. And then low key, like I didn't want to come on camera like looking a mess. Well, not really a mess, but just in my gym clothes. Like I wanted to like, get dressed and all that kind of stuff but honestly i'm just like f it i don't got time for that let me just go continue running the rest of my errands that way i can get back inside the house because i need to upload a video to youtube today i need to edit videos i need to like film like i don't know i just feel like i think the problem is like time is like closing in on me especially because like i just have so much going on right now like i'm back in school tuesdays and thursdays 6 40 to 19 now i have a class on saturday from 9 to 1 <sighs> anyway let me show y'all what i picked up from target well what i ordered actually from target um from the black history collection y'all so y'all know I love me a good cup. I love me a good tumbler. So this just says keep shining girl. And this is gold mine and cocoa. I don't even know how much this cup was, but it's real cute. Then I got this little tumbler and it just says 365 unapologetically black and proud this is kind of like a remake um from the cup that they had last year which i which i got um so yeah it's cute just simple like a little water flask then i got this journal y'all know i love a good journal this cute little journal and this is a design by Kenzie Studio Co. And on the inside, it just has like the dates going across and the months and stuff. So I thought this was a cute little journal to add to my collection. Then I picked up a shirt. And the shirt was designed by hold on okay Bridgeforth Farms and it just has you know the names of like some of the greats on it so 
this is the front and then this is the back so yeah um, I'm actually really satisfied by this shirt because I feel like they had this style shirt before or I've seen this shirt before um but I just was never able to purchase it so yeah that's all I picked up from the Black History Month collection. They had a lot of other stuff, you guys. The collection this year is really, really nice. They had a lot of other stuff, but honestly, the Black History collection at Target could have took my arm and my whole leg, and I just wanted to keep it simple, okay? I know I love little cups and tumblers, so I got that. And then I got the journal. Oh, one last thing that I didn't order, but I bought when I went to Target, which um, <laughs> me and Keisha were talking about this. I know she's gonna talk trash when I upload this video, but me and my friend Keisha was talking about this because she was like, girl, I think you should get this necklace. Like, it will look so cute on you. And I was like, girl, I think it's a little cheesy. But then when I went to Target and I saw it, I was like, okay, let me get it. So I also got this um, creator necklace from the Black History Collection um, as well. And I was like, let me get it because I am the... I was like, let me get it because I am the creator of my life. And yeah, so that's all I got from the Target of that history collection. I'm about to catch y'all outside because I'm about to go run my errands. I don't know when was the last time y'all saw me, but your girl is back. Um, today has been such a long, drawn out day. I was in class from nine to one, literally just wrapped up not too long ago. It's like 2.18 right now. So I quickly ran to the Dollar Tree because I wanted to pick up some more uh, balloons for my birthday tomorrow and i just realized that freaking dollar tree even increased the price of the balloons and i was in there getting some damn snacks and they even increased the price of the snacks like the dollar 25 just really hit me out of nowhere but i freaking forgot a lighter so i gotta stop at the dollar tree again but i'm headed to go get my nails done just a repolish gel repolish because some of the nails have started to like crack and peel so i kind of already knew they weren't gonna last from last week when i went to orlando so i know i was gonna have to get them repolished so going there then i need to go to party city and pick up my balloons which i ordered online um a couple of days ago so i need to pick them up and that's it. I'm about to be back in the house. I have started to curl my wig and that is taking me a little minute because the wig is 26 inches. And I don't know why I decided that I wanted to do wand curls when I could have just did regular schmegler degler roller curls. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's too late. I'm already like halfway done with curling it. So I'm gonna continue doing that. Tomorrow, I gotta pick up my cake at like 10. So I'm gonna wake up like super early so I can at least start doing my makeup because the brunch is at 12.30. And um, I wanna at least leave my house at 12. I'm over here licking my fingers because when I was at the Dollar Tree, I had picked up the Oreo cakes there. <laughs> um, honestly, I don't remember these from a child. Like I don't remember these from my childhood, but I guess um, they was popping. I, I don't remember these. These don't crack my memory. That's how they look. Mm, I forgot where I'm at speeding. The morning has been like a really rough morning and I'm like feeling kind of ugly a little bit. <laughs> And I don't know why I feel this way, but this is kind 
why I really didn't want to do anything for my birthday because I hate being restricted to a time frame and I kind of had already told my friends that I really didn't want to do anything and I should have stuck to that I really really should have stuck to that because now I really don't even feel like going to this um brunch like i'm so late the brunch was supposed to start at 12 30. mind y'all i woke up like so early this morning to like do my makeup and be sure that i was like ready to go pick up the cake and stuff like that and i listen to my gospel i listen to my praise Maybe once I get to the restaurant, I'll feel better. But right now, I just feel and look a mess. Hey, Sabrina. Hey, Brittany. Thank you. Hey, Taylor. My fellow Aquarius. But all in all, everything turned out just fine. I think I was like very anxious and very nervous to me turning 27. But my friends talked some life into me and I just feel so much better, just so much happier. And I really had a good time. We wound up extending it because by the time I got there, we only had 30 minutes left on our table. So we just wind up, um, extending it but all in all it was a good time but next year for sure <laughs> i'm not doing anything <laughs> i told my friend i was like look we don't really have to do nothing like i'm just really like a simple person like i'm just happy to be alive like i'm just happy to be here on this earth like even if i'm not celebrated by anyone else like i'm still gonna celebrate myself and i just get very like anxious when it's like time restrictions and stuff like that even when i'm up early like literally i was up early y'all so i don't even know what happened like how i just lost control of the time but it is what it is i'm happy um i'm back at home i just need to straighten up my room and 
get it back together because y'all as y'all can see look at this wig head like just stuff is everywhere so um i'm just about to end this vlog right here i wanted to upload a video for y'all today but to be honest i'm too lit i'm not even gonna get to it <laughs> we'll try tomorrow i didn't even get my birthday drink from starbucks <sighs> it is what it is but thank y'all so much for tuning into my channel make sure y'all comment like and subscribe and peace out